Hi guys. Just sitting out here in the garden in the evening and it's nice and quiet and cool. And I was thinking, you know, I, I know that uh, raised beds aren't for everybody. And for many years they weren't for us. But this is the first time we've done this. And, uh, you know, it could be the weather. It could be a lot of things. But we have so far I, what I think is the most luscious garden that uh, that we've had so if things continue to go this way I'm sure that we'll uh, oh we will probably uh, have other types of gardens but we sure are loving this one so far and uh, I just wanted to uh, to come out and and just tell you how how grateful I am that we uh, that we did try this and it's because of the youtubers out there that uh, have shown us how great it works and it has worked for them at least and so far we are having the same experience so we'll show you what uh, we're talking about and we'll go from here Okay, here we are at our salad bed. That's what I call it anyway. We have lettuce and Swiss chard, uh, sugar snap peas, carrots, green onions, uh, just about anything that uh, you can get in there, I've got in there. I think that was our first bed and we just, uh, we <laughs> almost kind of wanted to just get everything in there we could to start. Okay, we have cauliflower here and some kale that I sowed. Uh, I need to thin it out. And on down a little ways, we've got larger kale. What I'll do is thin that out and transplant it around. We'll have a full bed of kale. And next here is uh, cucumbers. They're just now starting to come up, and I'm going to let them get a little bigger, and I'll thin them out, keep the strongest ones. And from there, we're going to go see the cucumbers some more. And now we're at the potato bed, the first potato bed, which is red Pontiac, and it's really doing good. I don't think we've ever had potatoes quite that nice, but... I have a lot of perennial flowers that are will be in bloom real soon, and the place will just pop, and we're anxious. Uh, we have uh, some tomatoes here. Uh, we planted those last, so they're shorter. Uh, I just noticed this morning we've got blooms all over these, so we're really anxious, and they're looking so good. I'm waiting for some blooms on those peppers I've got tucked in there. So, flowers are doing really good there. 
at least we got a little color in there. Okay. Guess we got some more flowers coming, huh? Yes, lots more. Okay, we have uh, cabbage, broccoli, and collards here in this bed, and they're all doing great. Now, those haven't been in there that long either. No, which is really good. Uh, and here we have our sweet potato bed, um, which is starting to really take hold and do good. We started these starts ourselves. First time I ever done that, and it worked out pretty good. So we're anxious to see what we get. And here is uh, another potato bed that is also red Pontiac. And it's looking really good too. So we should have uh, all goes well, a good potato crop. And here is uh, sweet peppers. We have banana peppers, uh, red, big red bell peppers, and Italian Marconi red peppers. And they're doing really good. Got more peppers to go in too, right? Yes, I do. And here's our little corn patch. And this is something we're trying. See how it works out. And so far, it looks like we might have some corn. Some sweet corn. So, Mama's picking strawberries there. Yes, that's... And this is my... Uh, Oh, this is my redneck uh, drone footage from a high atop the 10 foot ladder. Actually, it does work pretty good. We're just really happy with it. We're just about to come to the end, and, and we want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you. Have a good, good day. And we'll see you a little later with another update.